Cuba way outperforms a lot of the countries in the global north in terms of health security domestically and internationally. And I think instead of always turning to states in, in the global north uh, to be the role models for how to um, roll out universal health coverage or global health security, we can look to countries like Cuba to get these great examples and to have south-south knowledge transfer. So, for example, it's you know it's one of the only countries in the world that has eradicated polio and malaria and tetanus, and also it's the first country in the world to eliminate mother-to-child transmission of HIV. So it's really got this really strong history in infectious disease control. Yet it's also doing a whole range of stuff internationally around global health security as well, which I think is is so important, and it raised the question to us of why isn't this being promoted as a, a great case study or a great example in the policy sphere or the academic sphere. One thing that is well established in the global health community is the strength of the Cuban national health system. It runs this, this fantastic integrated healthcare system which is based in ideals of uh, health education, health promotion and prevention as the kind of key fundamental building blocks of the health system which has meant that we've seen wide improvements of Cuban health uh, across the population, much more so than other countries with similar development levels at the moment. So it really is kind of world leading in that respect. So when we think about internationally and kind of the role of Cuba in international or global health security, we can think about the uh, medical internationalism programs that they run. So these are Cuban doctors who are sent by the Cuban government to work in a range of healthcare settings around the world, but particularly we've seen increasingly um, brigades sent to work in response to outbreaks of infectious diseases. So we saw this in the cholera outbreak in Haiti following the earthquake. We've seen, also seen it more recently in the Ebola response in West Africa in 2014. And in fact, the Cubans were the first um, international brigade or international group to deploy to West Africa um, after the WHO asked for support in this way. So they really are at the forefront of pushing this international perspective around global health security. But also when we think about health security in Cuba, we've got to think about the strength of its domestic health security. That is, how is Cuba as a, is, as a government able to prevent, control and respond to outbreaks occurring within its own borders? And actually the Cuban system is exemplary in this response. One of the current policy trends in global health security is tying global health security to a broader agenda of universal health coverage. And I think Cuba provides a really pertinent example for this because it really does have this strong universal health coverage offering. The fact that Cuba has this universal health system where people are able to access a doctor means that it provides a really great example of how these two agendas can be tied together. How is it that we can visualize a system where we have strong universal health coverage and strong health security? And I think it's particularly important with this tied up agenda to look to Cuba Although it is a very unusual setting, and I don't think you know we should be necessarily suggesting it's 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 replicable everywhere for different political differences, but maybe there are small policy traits that can be learned from this tied up agenda in Cuba and ap ap applied to this uh, connected agenda more broadly.